So Henry Candy, Lamato, heads for the July Cup tomorrow race. He's won and finished second in. How do you rate his chances this year? I'd be very hopeful that we could get in the first three. I would obviously be very afraid of Advertise, who had fantastic form last year and seems to have come back to his best. And Sir Michael's horse looks like a typical late improver and was very impressive last time. And obviously all the old stalwarts are in there. You wouldn't know about Aidan's horse, how good that's going to be. But uh, our horse seems to be in good form, that's the main thing. He's obviously seven years old now, does he still retain a lot of that old ability? He's the most enthusiastic seven-year-old I've ever known. He just loves every moment of every day. Um, eternally youthful, I think. Um, works just as well as ever. And whatever he's doing, he's just giving it everything. If we go back to the beginning, what was he like when he arrived at the yard in 2014? Horrible. Uh, Richard Hannan Sr., who'd been training him briefly, was absolutely upfront about him. He said, I'll tell you two things about him. He's a very good horse and he's a horror. He said he's a two-man job in the stable. And he was, and that's fairly rare in this day and age. But um, Mr. Jacobs agreed to have him gelded and that improved him a little bit. And now everybody's got a sort of understanding with him. There's some things you just can't do with him and you work around it. But basically, as you've seen this morning, he's an absolutely charming horse, but he's very ticklish and very sensitive and some things you just can't do. Yeah, so at the age of seven, he hasn't changed at all from when he first arrived? Not remotely, no. <laughs> <laughs> so he's obviously been incredibly consistent, winning a pattern race consecu you know, six seasons consecutively. What is the secret to that longevity and that success? Oh, just purely his mental state. Um, he's a bit of a lunatic and that suits him well, that suits me well. Uh, he's just not normal and loves his work, loves what he's doing, loves taking people on all the time. Um, no, he's just, uh, he's just a freak, really. And he must have been marvellously sound throughout his career as well, has he? Yes, touch wood, he has. Um, Legwise, absolutely brilliant. Long may it continue. And, and Harry Bentley's a jockey who's formed a formidable relationship with him, hasn't he? He obviously found the key to him, gets on well with him. He has. Um, difficult ride for him last time over seven furlongs, absolutely cantering. And then when he went to the front, idled in a big way. And the first thing Harry came, said when he came back in was there was plenty left. He said, don't worry about that. It certainly didn't look like it. It, was, it wasn't very pleasant watching. <laughs> And so he's obviously given you a lot of big race successes. Which of those would give you the most satisfaction or which has given you the most satisfaction? Uh, his July Cup, that was sensational. Even though he decided to turn 90 degrees right when he got to the front and nearly unshipped Harry. <laughs> but it was an am amazing the way he quickened up that day. Where would you place him among the, the best horses that you've trained? It's always a very, very hard question that because I think the best horses that I trained before then were mile and a quarter, mile and a half horses, but I've had some fantastic sprinters like Airwave and Kyliki and Twilight Sun. Um, this guy would be right up there with his on song. The way he quickens up, he's pretty impressive. And of course, it's a difficult question because you take every race as it comes, I assume, but assuming he stays sound, assuming he stays in love with the game, what does the future hold? Will he go on for a few more seasons yet, do you think? You wouldn't want him in your paddock, that's for sure. Um, <laughs> he'll keep working as long as he's capable of doing it to a reasonable level. You wouldn't want to see him running in moderate handicaps in five years' time. But as long as he's maintaining enough form to run in pattern races of some sort, then I think he should be kept working because that's what he loves.